Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is all about asparagus. We're still recovering over here, but I am gonna do my best with one hand to show you three beautiful ways to cook asparagus. This is Colorado and this is May. So I have some asparagus here that are from uh, a little town, maybe an hour away, it's called Peonia. These are from the wild. And if I can, I am gonna make a little clip for you guys to show you how I find these things out in the wild. So check it out. Okay, so here's an example of where they grow. I mean, you would never know they're there unless you're looking. So it's just like this. There's one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick it. You know, you just snap it as normal. I like to break it a little bit lower. You can eat that whole thing. Mmm, super tender, really yummy. Can we get the camera down here to show these little babies? See those? Two more coming right here. I'm just gonna take the bigger one, leave that one to grow. So I'm in Colorado, it's like May 12th. These are like beginning of the season asparagus. I only peel them if they're woody towards the end of the season. Like I can just feel as my knife goes through that, that it doesn't need to be peeled. But the easiest way to tell, cut some off the bottom, bite it. Is it woody, chewy? Not at all. So why, why peel it, right? Don't peel it if you don't have to. Okay, and the next thing is everyone does this little thing. I'm gonna try to do my my best with my, my hands, but everyone tries to do this thing, right, where they snap it. Now, it does kind of work, but I, I don't like this way, really. To save the most asparagus, to get the most out of it, I start chopping it way low, and I can just feel, like, as my knife goes through it, as soon as it starts to soften up, I know, okay, that's good. So when I break it, I feel like I'm breaking off edible asparagus. When I cut it, I feel like I'm getting the most out of it. So that's my little tip for you. So I'm gonna show you another little tip on choosing the freshest asparagus, and that's about looking at the, the, the heads, the very tops of these guys. The one you're seeing on your left is the one I want you to look for, and it has a tightly closed head. Now the one on the right is a little bit older in its life, and it's starting to open up and, and go into like a flowering stage. So you wanna get them when they're most tender, and you can tell that by the head. So look for tightly closed heads when you are choosing your asparagus. So in this video, I'm gonna be cooking asparagus three different ways. I'm gonna save my favorite way and the best way for last. We're gonna sit down, we're gonna taste them, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of each way and which way I like the best and why. Okay, so we're gonna start by doing asparagus the first way, which is blanching in salty water. So at the same time, the water is gonna cook the asparagus and season it. I'm gonna drop them straight in, heads down. Just let them fall. We're gonna cook these for literally like a minute and a half, two minutes tops. So I've mentioned this before, but all green vegetables have a layer of gas in the outer membrane, so we just release that. I think you can already see that beautiful green color that's coming out. If you're going for color, this is definitely the best way. Okay, so these have been blanching for two minutes. We're gonna remove them straight into ice water, guys. Really cold. The idea here is we're shocking them, right? And when we shock them, we lock in that color and we stop them from cooking at the same time. So let those sit in the ice water for about another two minutes just to cool it down all the way. So asparagus have been in the cold, icy water for two minutes. I'm just gonna grab them out and just leave them to dry. Best part about doing it this way is they're perfectly seasoned, sea salt. So the second way we're gonna be cooking the asparagus is by sauteing it. This is a really quick and easy way to do it. It's very delicious. Okay, so I got a hot cast iron pan, just starting with a little bit of olive oil. Let that heat up for a minute. So I've just got some garlic that my beautiful wife has sliced across here. So this is something you'll see me do a lot with when I'm sauteing, is I start with the olive oil, then straight in with the garlic. So what we're doing is releasing that flavor of the garlic into the oil, and then we're gonna start with the asparagus. So that's it, garlic in there for maybe 15 seconds, asparagus straight in. You don't want that garlic to burn, right? Just toast, brown a little bit. Asparagus will stop the garlic from cooking, so don't worry. Just get it nice and golden brown. Some salt. Mmm, smells amazing with the garlic. A little bit of unsalted butter to finish this. That's been cooking for about two minutes, right? Butter in, heat down to low. We don't want to burn the butter. And just squeeze a lemon. So that's been cooking for about three minutes. Done enough for me. If you want them to be softer, just cook them a little longer, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that out. Sauteed asparagus. Okay, so best way for last. Definitely for the best flavor, I think it's gotta be just olive oil, salt and pepper, and over a wood or coal fire out on the grill. That for me 
is asparagus at the, at the very best. It locks in all the flavor. So just a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper. Ah! Uh. Perfect. Thanks, Brandon. See that? True dedication. It's out of focus. In my partner here. <laughs> Okay, so we are gonna be grilling these asparagus here, but there's one little trick I wanna show you that you are not gonna forget for the rest of your life. And that's just to cut an onion in half, leaving the root intact, see lengthways. It's just sitting in any old oil with a fork in it. Now this, forget about a brush, this is your new grill cleaner. Do this once and I forever you will be hooked, I guarantee it. As soon as you smell, oh, it smells amazing, right? It smells like what? Can you guess? Huh, grilled onions, that's right. Especially too, once you use this onion for a while, it will soften up and it'll do an even better job. I mean, obviously guys, for a steak, veggies, salmon, whatever you're grilling, use the onion trick. You can thank Thomas Keller for that one, actually. So we got a really high heat. We're gonna start grilling. I'm gonna do my best here, guys. I am right-handed, so bear with me. Just lay them down. Just make sure they're all flat. Kind of the only requirement that they're not stacked too much on top of each other. Remember, never blow too hard because we don't want to kick up the ash. They're kind of crackling. That's what we want, right? High heat on this. You don't want to do this over low coals. Only thing I would say about this is just, obviously it's hottest right here in the middle, just the way my coals are. So if you need to rotate the ones from the outside to the middle and then push the ones from the middle towards the outside, just let them all get that nice high heat. Okay, so these have been cooking for about two minutes. On this side, we're gonna turn them. We want these to be black, right? Black, but not overcooked. Okay, so these have been cooking for another two minutes on this side. Let's just remove them. I don't wanna overcook them at all. They have a nice char. They smell amazing. As soon as they're off the fire, we're gonna do a little squeeze of fresh lemon right over, just to keep that fat and acid in mind. This is just gonna lift it all up. Coming in for a taste. So I'm gonna start with the blanched asparagus. So the definite pro to blanching asparagus in salty water is hands down the color, right? You're gonna get this intense, beautiful green. And another thing is the rounded seasoning. It's not just like a little salt on top. Since the water is salty, it gives the whole thing like this perfect rounded seasoning. The bad thing I would say about it is that whenever you're cooking a vegetable in water, you're always gonna lose a little bit of flavor to that water. So let's move on to the sauteed. Hmm. I really like these sauteed coins of asparagus. So you're getting all that garlic that you release into the oil and then cook the asparagus. It has a really awesome flavor. You're not losing anything to water. Just a really, if, if you're coming home and you just want a fast way to do it, I would go with that way because it's really tasty and it's easy to do. Okay, now we're moving on to these grilled asparagus. All that beautiful char. My favorite way, which I already told you. Mm. Without a doubt, the best flavor. That char you get on the outside is so freaking meaty and delicious. I could just eat a plate of those, no problem. Dinner, dinner is done. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something today about asparagus. And if you found some value in this video, consider subscribing for future videos just like this one. And I will see you next week.